A busy day yesterday, few through the door, how did you find it? It was actually quite an enjoyable day when it turned five o'clock. I, um, I think we're relatively happy with uh, how things went and I'm glad it's finished. <laughs> I imagine so. Tell us about your, your, your new signings first of all. Obviously four in this week, but three yeah. in yesterday. Yeah, obviously uh, Paul Jane Jones came in last week, which was an important signing for us after the unfortunate injury to Joe Wildsmith. So we needed that uh, experienced cover in there to help us. Uh, and he's fitted in really well, the two new lads yesterday. Um, I think we, we needed a more defensive cover at centre-back, so bringing in a 22-year-old centre-back with the experience that David's got is, is, is fantastic from our point of view. Young lad, still a lot to learn, still willing to learn, a lot of hunger in his, in his mind. When you have handled the atmosphere of uh, Ibrox, and uh, played for a club the size of Hamburg in Germany. I think coming to Sheffield Wednesday is one that, that's excited him and one that is uh, really looking forward to getting involved in the environment here. Obviously with uh, Massimo, he's played in the league for so long, he knows the league inside out. He's been predominantly based in the south, so I don't know if he's had a nosebleed uh, getting, getting higher than Watford Gap on the motorway, but um, he's come in, typical Australian lad uh, with a great work ethic. He'll certainly com complement our midfield options now uh, with the lads we've already got in here. And uh, as I say, his experience in this league uh, will, will certainly help us out throughout the, the battle that is a Championship League season. And finally, bringing in Jacob with that sort of quality that, listen, you, you can't forget the lads a £13 million signing a few years ago. He's uh, been involved, involved in the national setup at youth levels, pace. Uh, Brilliant technique, quality skills. And for me, I think a dying breed of wingers where he likes to get the ball and likes to drive 1v1 against fullbacks. Uh, so having brought in Kadim and brought in Jacob again, he gives us great, great options and a good age again. We've been gradually building lists of players that, that we feel would certainly enhance the group and complement the group we've got here already. So, um, yeah, these are lads that have been on our radar for for a spell, so we're, we're really happy to get them over the line. So Barnsley this weekend, a, uh, a local derby, early, probably earlier in the season than, uh, than people are used to with the derby match. How much are you looking forward to it? I'm really looking forward to it. I think Daniel's done a fantastic job up there at Barnsley. It's a fabulous football club with a good history. Um, they've obviously, as a club in general, they've obviously changed their philosophy in, in relation to the recruitment and signing a lot of younger players that are hungry, maybe wanting to prove themselves, a lot of energy. We know exactly what we'll be up against. And it reminds me a little bit of uh, a game two or three seasons ago when a, a local rival got promoted and came up. So I've reminded the players of the outcome of that game. And I think it's got a smell of that. If we're not mentally switched on for this game tomorrow, um, we're, we could be in for a really tough day. Last Saturday's out of the way now. Feet are firmly planted. Uh, I'm sure Daniel will be the exact same after their fine result against Fulham. Um, it's got all the makings of a fabulous game tomorrow. Um, but we know, we know we have good players in our team. We know we have players capable of winning the game, but I'm sure Daniel is fully confident in his squad of players as well. You're expecting a close one? The last three meetings between the two clubs have all been one all. So, uh, yeah, I mean, derby matches are derby matches, aren't they? Derby matches, yeah. All, all sort of form goes out the window. And as you say, it's only the second game of the season, so there's not a great deal of form to go on. But what I will say is both teams had fabulous results last week, so both teams will come full of confidence. Um, we're really looking forward to it. Our supporters are really looking forward to it. I think the players took a lot, a big, big lift with the performance that they put on last week. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure Daniel and his players will, will, will have the same sort of confidence. So it has the makings of a, a really, really good game. So hence it'll be nil-nil now I've said that. <laughs>